So you think I will give you my money with the way you have spoken to me? I did a job for you and you have to pay it. Sir. You will not see any, you will not see penny from me. With this level of disrespect, with this level of disrespect, you're very stupid. Very, very stupid. Madam, did you, did, who is this stupid boy that you sent to this my house? Who is this foolish boy that you sent to my house? How can this stupid idiot come to my house and tell me that I'm supposed to come and meet him in, in his car and pick up and pick up snail that, that I'm buying from you? Rats. I can make this man to disappear in the, in the whole Nigeria and nothing will happen. Can you imagine this rat? I'm not going to give this I'm not going to give this boy one night of my money. No 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 I'm not going to give this silly boy one night of my money. You've been insulting me and I'm being quiet. I pray that you do. I pray that you insult me. Can you please insult me? I won't, I'm not going to call my policeman to beat you up. I will beat you up. I will show you that I'm a big brother to you. I will slap the hell out of you and I will lie you down, lock you in my, in, in, in my generator house. How dare you? Why should you do that? Who the hell do you, do you know who you're talking to? Do you know where you are? Because you saw me sitting outside here. It doesn't matter, sir. Pay me, let me go. I Look at this monkey. I don't care what I am. Are you, wait, are you even looking at me that you can, you can beat me? Or are you looking at me? What, who the hell do you think you're talking to? Do you know who I am? I'm a senator of this republic. Do you know who the fuck? Do you know who the fuck I am? How dare you? Are you slapping me, sir? You see this place? You suffer. I'll deal with you. Are you slapping me, sir? I just did. Slap me back. Okay. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? That's fine. How dare? Do you know who I am? That's fine. How dare you? Did, you? did you just slap me three times, sir? Twice. The third one, you'll still, you'll still receive it. Okay. How dare you? Come and get out of this place. I need my payment, sir. Come on, please. All right, so this is where I am. I just got, a, I just got three slaps from this man. Here. Just because I told him to come and get his stuff and pay me my money. So he's claiming that he's... Tell them, my name is Honorable Alex Ikwete. I'm a member of the House of Reps. Tell them, I slapped you. Okay. Call the Inspector General of Police. Call, call him, let him come. Okay. Okay, sir. Record me very well. Record me very well. All right. That's nice. You came to my house to disrespect me? I, eh? I didn't disrespect you. I said, pay me my money and let me leave. Come on, give me that phone. Wow. I'm not going to lie. I watched this video with so much emotions, anger pain and sadness anger because i cannot go there and stand up for that guy pain because this is a senator that has been elected in office to stand up for the people and look at what he's doing to the people and sadness because this guy will not get the right thing that he deserves because of course this is nigeria and he's a senator they will look for every means to sweep this thing under the carpet but by the grace of god we will not let it happen now, this is a boat driver that went out to look for food for his family, maybe for his children, maybe for his mother, maybe for his sick brother somewhere, maybe for his father somewhere that might be sick or old or something. And look at the fate that he met. Now, what is his offense? Go back to listening to that video properly. What is his offense? They sent him to deliver snail to this senator and he took the snail there and called him, okay, come and take your snail. And then the next thing he was assaulted because he did not worship or kiss the man's feet. So if they send somebody to deliver something, is he supposed to barge into your house, take it to your upstairs and give it to your give taking it to your room? Now let me let me quote what this man said, and I will have a lot of questions. The first thing he said is, I can make this man disappear in the whole Nigeria and nothing will happen. Again, he said, I won't pay you one naira of my money. Then the probe driver said, you have been insulting me. I have been quiet. Then the senator 
proceeded by saying, I am not going to call my police to beat you up. I will beat you up and lock you in my generator room. He then proceeded to slap in him while bragging that he's a senator of this republic. Now, the painful part is the woman on the other side of the phone, the woman that he called, the woman that he ordered the snail from, the woman that booked the boat driver to make the delivery. The woman on the other side of the phone, instead of stopping whatever thing that man was doing, instead of telling him that, no, why, have you, why are you abusing this guy? Why are you assaulting him? The woman went on to ask the boat driver that, do you know him? Who is he? Is he not a human being? Then the bro driver then said, I just got three slaps from this man because I asked for my money. Then he proceeded by saying, tell them, my name is Honorable Alex Ikweche. I am a member of the House of Reps. Tell them I slapped you. Call the Inspector General of Police. Call him. Call him to come. Now I have a lot of questions. The first question is this. Since he said he can make this man disappear in the whole of Nigeria and nothing will happen, my question is how many people have you made them disappear in Nigeria, in that your house in Mitama? That is the first question. Number two, he then proceeded to say, I am not going to call my policemen to beat you up. So all, the, all your oddly, all your security detailing, you use them to beat innocent people up. He then went on to saying that I will beat you and put you in my generator room. How many innocent Nigerians have you assaulted and put them in your generator room? You will answer these questions. We put you in office. You will answer us this question. Imagine the government of a country. Then the one where can be insult upon injury. He said, I am a member of the House of Rep. Tell them I slapped you. Call the Inspector General of Police. By that means, it means even the IG, even the Inspector General of Police cannot do him anything because he's a senator. Now, this is somebody that has been elected to liberate the people. See what he's doing to the people. So, if the sen if senators and the people that hold power in Nigeria are seeing us, because listen to all the names we call that guy. If they are now seeing us as monkeys, rats, and every other name that I call that guy. So how are they going to liberate us when they don't see us like human beings? When they don't see us like people that are, that are like them? They don't see us that we have two eyes, two ears, nose and mouth and two hands and two feet. They see us as animals, monkey rats. Imagine how you treat your fellow human being because you are power drunk, because you are in the position. See him. See his face. Honorable member. That's representing Abba. So now, if you ask this man now the project where this man don't do, you know, forget them. Anyways, um, to the boat driver, before we talk, go far. To the boat driver, I beg, I beg, I beg you with God, reach out to me. I beg, I beg. Now, God, I tell you, beg you, reach out to me. This man will pay for that assault. Forget so you be saying it all. We no care. This Nigeria is for all of us. It's not for you. Nigeria is for all of us. It's not for one person. I will not keep quiet for people like this to be abusing power and oppressing everybody because they are in that position. If that guy decides to retaliate, say, you know, if he be down. This is the end of the video. See, see, see what he did to the boat. This is where I am. I'm actually with one man. He said he's a senator. I got a request to bring delivery to him. As you can see, I don't have a shirt. He shredded my clothes and he slapped me three times. Man seated outside here, he says the senator, and that there's nothing I can do about it. My, my phone is broken because I was videoing what he was saying and recording what he was saying. He was trying to drag the phone with me, and he broke the phone. Please, all out one member should please come to Maitama. All out one member, please come to Maitama back of uh, farmer's market. I've not even ended the ride. Look at me. This is me here, and this is the man seated. This is my shirt. He just shredded it and I've collected three slaps from this man. Three good slaps from this man without saying a word. And you, can, you can imagine. You, the first video, you, hear all you, the you can imagine. Video. Just imagine. Everybody that is an artist. Just imagine. Should please that guy is even lucky. That guy is even lucky. Anything could have happened. Uh, if that man get gone for dead that time, for Kara just land that guy. Anything could have happened. This is not fair. We cannot have this in Nigeria. Now, me go carry this video like this, go show the idea of police. Let him see. Let him see what is happening under his nose. See the way people have been disrespecting the IG. 
But no wahala, this is our Nigeria. Thank God says in Abuja. When you reach time to march, you go march. The boat driver reached out to me. Peace. This is the boat driver that was assaulted by that honorable member that claimed that he's a senator. The reason why I say that claimed that he's a senator because I discovered this morning that that man is not a senator. So this is the guy that I assaulted. Now, we have seen the video. We saw all what transpired. We saw the horrible things he said to you. We heard him call you monkey, rats, all the derogatory things he said to you. Now, the question is, what happened after that video? Please. Okay, so... Uh, after the video, mm. he called some police officers. I don't know the division they were assigned to. Okay. And then they bundled me to the station. I wanted to drive the car. They said, no, I should not drive. Okay. So one sat beside, two sat beside me and I was in their middle. Okay. And then they drove me down to the station. Okay. They, when they drove me down to the station, they said I should go inside. I was, as I had calls, they, they, they didn't allow me to take my calls. Okay. So they 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 were not asking what happened they didn't ask me they were asking people that were not there the police officers and then the police officer quickly said i went to honorable south and i was fighting the honorable i, I kept mute did you show them the video i have not shown anybody the video as at okay. that time okay. they've not even even the security person that came to bear witness as at that time have not heard have not seen the video okay as at that time okay. so they now said they now referred us to crime that we should go to crime so we went to crime the man was not asking what happened as i was explaining no no I, initially i didn't explain he the, the man now said he cannot actually hear from one side the other okay. person has to come okay. to actually give his own side of, of the story. story and then the police officer said the when they said i, I fought him they now said no they should go and bring the man immediately his the security man his security man now called him and they passed the phone to the ipo okay. that was in charge of the case and then the ipo was now talking to him on the phone and stepped out mm. of the office where we were and after some time he came back and said he wants to go and do investigation at the honorable's house okay the and idea then, left you at the station at, at and the station said he wants to go. which station the, was this metama, metama police okay, station. so it's what it happened this within metama it happened within metama okay so the ipo left you at the station and, and went, went to, to the, the honorable's house. house okay and then after they kept me there for over two hours i was i was behind uh I was at the counter, I was not detained though. They I kept you the behind counter. the counter? They kept me behind the counter. And then okay. after two hours plus, he came back. And then he was not like, uh, why did I record the, this thing, the, the video? Why did you now change, change he, he was not you. trying to change the narrative. And I asked him, is there a part of the law that says I cannot record what somebody is doing to me? He was becoming a threat to me. Mm. And I had to take evidence so that people will know where by I this am. Well, by this time, was the honorable member there? He wasn't there. He was at home. He was at home. So then I gave me a form to fill, to write my own statement as to what happened. As I was writing, the honorable I came. And then when he came, he started talking and he was shouting. That even at the station? Even at the station. He calling was talking, you names? Calling me names. Like, I still kept mute and I was looking at him. So my colleagues were talking to him. Me, I have already had my own fair share of trauma from him. I don't want to actually have any engagement or any encounter with him. I just went to one corner and I sat down. And I was listening to everything he was saying. All the names he was calling me, you common boat driver, you a poor man, you have pride in your poor, you have this, you have that. I kept mute. I said, so the problem you have now is a poor man cannot speak that I'm in Nigeria and I shouldn't be treated as a foreigner in mm -hmm. this country. As I'm, I'm from Delta State and I cannot be treated, as, I cannot have you treat me like a foreigner in my own Now, country. when did you leave the station? I left the station at about, uh, I think, some minutes to three or so. Where's your car? My car is still at the station. So the police collected your car? They collected my car. And you left the station this morning? Yeah, I left the station. Was the honorable member detained? He wasn't detained. They let him go? They let him go. That's really, really sad. Now, I want to ask you a question. The woman that sent you that message, do you know her name? I didn't know her name per se. Do you know her business name? I don't know her business name. It was a request. But I think I checked from my boat app. I think the last request that came in, when I tried calling from the app, it was, I think, Gloria. Gloria. Yeah. Because she said something in that video. She said something like, and eh, do you know who he is? She was also supporting him. That's why I'm asking you that if you know who she is. Now, what did you go and deliver to him? What even really happened? Just give me a brief summary of what happened before that video. Okay, before the video, I actually got a request on both. Okay. Right? I'd, I was closing already because I needed to resume work this morning at 8.30. Okay. So I was closing at 9.10. I said, let me just quickly go home so that I can, I can have enough rest. So I got this request to Metama. I felt it was a normal request. And then she told me, no, that it's not a request, that I'm picking something up from, her, from a yes. garden. 
okay. right, from a garden. Which around. garden? I don't know the name of the garden. She just described the garden that after Kadu roundabout, okay. you will see one uh, orange color container and then there's a garden beside it. Okay. So I just quickly went there, packed. The girl just came without wasting time, brought the package that it's a snail. I snail? Said, okay, snail, yeah. So she dropped it. It was the girl that brought it and dropped it on the seat. She understood that part. Okay. I was like, okay, there's no problem. I'm going. So on getting to the man's house, I called him. Okay, I'm at your gate. You know, I said, okay, I should give it to the security man. They gave it to the security man. The security man explained where the house address is. So I drove down to the house. On approaching, I called the man again. I said, Oga, I'm here. He now said, I'm not here. That if you are here, I will see you. So I drove. He now said, I should park beside one car. When I parked beside the car, I saw him. I, but I didn't know he was the one. one. So I saw him seated a few meters away from my car. So I greeted, good evening, sir. He didn't respond. Good evening, sir. He didn't respond. So I presume he is not the one that uh, actually I'm, yes. I'm supposed to deliver this thing to. Okay. And since he didn't answer, the next thing is for me to call the person that has this package. The next thing I died, I dialed the person's number. And his phone rang. And then the next thing he was like, are you stupid? Are you mad? Are you a fool? Bring my stuff for me. I, did, I was not happy at the way he talked to me because I was doing my professional job, right? I was not happy. So I was like, okay, this thing you're saying to me, it has not gotten to eat. Normally, I'm not even supposed to bring this thing to you. You are supposed to come and pick it yourself. Yeah. That was what, that was the only thing that got him angry. You are asking me to come to your car to pick my stuff? Are you okay? Do you know who you're talking to? It's okay. I can see the anger on your face. Don't worry. Um, the truth is that Nigeria is for everybody. Nigeria is not for one person. If yeah, an honorable member will be treating people like this, then just imagine what the president is supposed to do. Now, I need to remind you, we are all clamoring for the youth to come to power. See this one, Anna, youth. I always say something. The youth are looking for a better... They are not trying to make this country better, a lot of them. They want to get power to do worse than these people because they have a better way of hiding this evil than these old men in power. But nevertheless, the man does not have immunity. I just discovered that he's not a senator. So, actually, pursue this case. And I believe that the law will take its course um we'll go to i've heard a lot of things about me that police station which i'm not going to say but i believe in the new commissioner of police that have been that have been moved here um uh, commissioner of police this so this case will be reported to him directly and i believe that the law will take its course so don't worry you said you are not feeling well i'm not feeling well he hit me on my chest several he was just hitting me on my chest and i stayed mute i was looking at him so when he was becoming much of a threat to me, it, I, I, initially I did not record because I didn't go there with intention of fighting. If I, if I went there with another motive, I would start recording from the very beginning. It was when he was becoming a threat, when he said he would pay 50 million naira and then they would delete me and look at me, this cheat. He was just calling me all sorts of names. And you he, pay 50 million and they will delete you. He would pay 50 million naira to somebody, to people and then they would kill me and nobody would say anything. And when I noticed he was, this thing is becoming what i never expected i quickly brought out my phone and you recorded and i started recording don't worry we'll go we'll go and write a petition and we'll take it up oh Allah, more they go so i just saw a news on insta blog that the honorable member alice mascot that he has been arrested please insta blog insta blog i don't know whether they don't send you namona do damage control so that to make the nigerians feel like he has been arrested and i mean they for abuja now me know what they happen. The guy has not been arrested. And he must be arrested. Because you cannot use the name of the IG. Imagine what he said about the Inspector General of Police. The number one cop in the whole of Africa. Somebody with person where go school, learn, study mathematics, get PhD. You talk say, call the IG to come here now. I see the IG is your boy. Is the IG one of all those boys that you pay money? This is not the first time. This is another person again that is using, using the name of the, the office of the IG to bully and oppress people. And you are a honorable member? See, look at the names he was calling that guy. Monkey, dog, this one, that, your fellow human being. And you are a honorable member. Calling the IG like a, like, calling the IG name as if now you they give IG food to chop. The number one cop, the number one symbol of law and enforcement in Nigeria. We are not going to take this as Nigerians. And I believe that the police in Nigeria will not take it. He's currently at uh, CPDC's office. CPDC, I don't see in track record. He's a man of integrity. A man of integrity that stands for justice. And I believe that he will not let people to call him and, and talk to him and say, hey, this one is an honorable member and that. No! Justice must stand. Even if they are not going to prosecute him for anything. For speaking about the IG, I've seen the IG now one kind, 10 boys. I didn't watch the video. They say, wait. 
Now the inspector general of police, this guy, they talk about like this. A man of integrity, person where go school, a very learned man. No, 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 This cannot be taken. Meanwhile, see the guy, see your own record. No bill have been passed. You never ever sponsor any bill before. You but three slap. You don't rush. Give him three slap. That guy now in chest they pin him. The guy said he held him like this. He was hitting his chest. If now your brother, will you be happy? If that's your brother, will you be happy? This will not slide. I believe that the office of the IG will do something. Because he's a respected IG and we love him. And you cannot disrespect him like that. And I expect that this man's political party, that they will suspend him and even drop him. I'll be expecting the National Assembly and the House of Reps to throw away this guy from office. People like this cannot represent us in Nigeria. It's not possible. Many people like this can't stand. For, for, for us of red, they say they want to represent Nigerians. No! Treating people like animals. If you are seeing Nigerians, your fellow Nigerians as an animal, all those names, where they call the guy, if you are seeing your fellow Nigerians as a monkey, that, rats, and all this one, then how would you represent us? That means you are using your office to eat our money and to abuse power and to oppress the poor. Calling him a poor man, that you use 50 million naira, that they should disappear him. How many people have you made them to disappear? The police must ask you. A lot of people are missing in Abuja. Who knows? Maybe they don't make you best, you don't disappear them. Who knows? Who knows how many people you don't lock for your generator house? Who knows? Who knows how many people you don't disappear with 50 million naira? Who knows? You will tell Nigerians. Honorable member, my foot. Honorable member, my foot. Call IG like boy boy, you will learn. All of them want to use power for this country. Now, if you use power, make the country better. So, it's what they do.